مدد کردم گفتم زندان برم خوب است از او خانه کردم باز عادت کردم امروی کارمنده های من امروی مبوسین خلاص کارمنده با مثل یک مادر رویه میکردم روی من با مبوسین مثل خوهر های من من قشم نیستا که دایی داخل مثلا هر قم چادر بکشی یا نپوشی کسی چیزی نمیگم مریم in your Emmy Award-winning film, No Burkas Behind Bars, it says the following, and I quote, women are normally faceless in Afghanistan. Outside the home, burkas cover them from head to toe, completely masking their identity, rendering Afghan women invisible. Yes, uh, something that I confronted with the first time that I was, I was in Afghanistan, I thought that I cannot see the faces of these women. They are hidden and they have no identity in this society. The first thing is that you always think who is behind this burqa, what are they thinking and how they look like. And you try to find the codes in the society that talk to you about the identity of these women. Sometimes they want to lose their identity because they don't want to be themselves as a woman. They won't want to be seen, you know. This is many of them that they, in many villages or small towns, we see that most of the women have burqa because it's a kind of protection. But this is not their choice. This is not that they like to have them. This is just better for them. It's like a shield. Why they are imprisoned in the first place? What's their crime? They get imprisonment because of a crime which is called moral crime. And what is moral crime? When a woman without the permission of her, of her husband or man relatives uh, leave the home or escape from the home, uh, then if the woman is arrested by police and get many years of imprisonment. I realized that these women, even though they are living inside the prison, they're happier there because um, it shows that this prison, they have each other and they were the most I mean, the smartest intellectual women in Afghanistan because they were aware about their rights and they were, they didn't let that they violence men, you know, do whatever they want to them. And many of them, they just escaped to do not be killed. And it's so ironic that exactly what you said, that they feel more free and liberated while they are behind bars rather than being actually outside. And that's why that the film is you know, uh, no burqas behind bars, but no burqa is a kind of uh, symbol of another prison for these women because many of women they don't want to even wear burqa. But this is even that in Afghanistan there is no rule that you have to put burqa. But many women feel more comfortable of behind the burqa because they are safer. So Mariam, in your films, you shed a very bright light on so many topics and issues concerning women and their human rights. Uh, what's the backstory? Like what fueled this passion in you to make those films? I was just three years old that when the Islamic revolution happened in Iran and then all my childhood, I, I always was forced to have veil and I had no idea why. I started the school with a veil and I didn't like it, honestly. I, I respect many people that they have veil, but I, for my age, this was not understandable. And after that, many, many rules, and this is country that the women didn't have the same rights that men have. So this is also becomes a motivation and driving force inside you that you fight your rights for your rights and you understand that for making the life better for the others is like that uh, you're totally aware because if you have a tough life yourself if you are living in in um, your childhood or when you're youth or when you grow up it's not in freedom you understand the value of freedom especially as a woman then this question is always in your mind I appreciate at the same time that i was experiencing things that give gave me a perspective to fight for other people better life for other people and if i can be a voice for them if i can be a tool to give the message why not
And finally, I just want to ask you, what would you say to the women who are deprived of their basic human rights? And how can we acknowledge them today and acknowledge their strength to survive? I just say that they, have, they are powerful. They can change. They can change, you know, little by little. Right? Just believe to that and support each other. This is what I learned. I learned from these women. 